Whether you have a port day or a sea day, there are a few things that you'll want to do before you leave your cruise ship cabin. Some of these things might sound like little things, but not doing them can be a big mistake. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're going on a cruise and in particular, if you're going on your first cruise, then you'll want to know some of the things that you should do before you leave your cabin for the day. Now, while some of these things are going to be the same as when you stay at a hotel room, other things are actually going to be very different. After all, when you're in your cruise ship cabin, it really does feel like home for that amount of time that you're on your cruise. And you'll find that you often do have a little bit more of a relationship with your cruise cabin steward than you would with housekeeping at a hotel. And the truth is, if you do these things, you'll avoid potential disappointment. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, put away your used towels. So in the morning time, after you've showered and gotten ready, perhaps you're ready to go to the buffet or the main dining room for breakfast. Well, something that you'll wanna do is make sure that you have indicated to your cruise cabin attendant if you want new and fresh towels or if you prefer to reuse those towels that you've used already. So if you wanna reuse them, what you'll do is you'll hang your towels up on one of the hooks or maybe over the shower, and that will indicate to the cabin attendant that you're okay with reusing them. However, if you do want fresh towels when you come back, you are going to be disappointed if you did hang them up or if you put them flopped over the sink even, now cruise ship bathrooms are small, so a good place to put them is under the sink so that they're out of the way or on the shower floor. This way, when you come back to the cabin, you'll have fresh, clean towels. Number two, put your valuables away before you leave your cruise ship cabin. This is really crucial. And by the way, the safe in the cabin is safe to use. So make sure that you've put any jewelry, make sure you've put any documents that you have, passports, etc car keys, your wallet, and some people actually like to put their prescription medication in their safe just in case. Set your cabin thermostat. Now this is just a practical tip, but something that we like to do before we leave our cabin for the day or even for a few hours is we turn our thermostat all the way well to the coldest possible. So this way, when we come back, the cabin is a little bit more comfortable. It's always easier to warm up a cabin than to make it cooler later on. Unplug any electric items. So make sure that you go around the cabin, unplug any curlers, and even unplug any items that might be charging. Do a balcony check. Now, before you leave your cabin for the day, something that you'll wanna do is go out onto the balcony, see, did you leave any wet bathing suits there? Maybe you dried something in the morning time, or maybe you came back to your cabin after a day in port and you decided to leave a wet bathing suit there while you relaxed in your cabin. Well, make sure that you do bring all of that in. It's actually against the rules to leave things out on your cabin for a reason. One of them is that clothing and other items can actually fly into the sea if you're sailing, which is not good, but it's also a fire hazard. If somebody is smoking in a smoking area above and by chance an ember or something else got onto that clothing, that could be dangerous. Close and lock your balcony door. Now, if you do have a balcony, this is actually really important. Sometimes we've forgotten to actually lock our balcony door and then what happens is our AC doesn't stay on. So you wanna make sure that it's actually on lock so that it does work properly, as well, of course, for safety and security. By the way, leaving a balcony door open and opening the front door will actually create a really big wind tunnel and you wanna avoid that as well. Close the curtains. Now this is personal preference, but if you have a balcony or if you have an ocean view, so you have a window, you might want to close the curtains when you are leaving for the day, especially if it is really hot and sunny outside. That just makes the cabin hotter when you come back. Now, if you have a port date, there are some crucial things that you'll need to do before you leave your cruise ship cabin. So firstly, you wanna make sure you have any required identification. So that's gonna include either a passport or the required ID. So usually a driver's license is fine, but do make sure that you follow the guidance of the cruise line. Now, in addition to that, be sure that you've grabbed your shore excursion tickets. If you do have a shore excursion, take as well money that you might need. So prepare that in advance 
and make sure that you've taken one credit card just in case. Now, don't forget if you're going to need towels, grab them, have them ready in a beach bag or a backpack and make sure that you've brought some water bottles, some sunscreen and anything else that you might need for your excursion. And don't forget your cruise card. Don't forget to put out the make up room sign. This one is really important and honestly can lead to disappointment if you don't do this. So when you leave your cruise ship cabin, you'll want to make sure that you do indicate to your cabin attendant that you are ready to have your room made up. Now, the way that you can do this is sometimes there is a sign that just hangs on the door and you could just turn this to say make up room. Other times there's going to be a door magnet that is reversible. One side is going to say do not disturb and the other side is going to say make up room. And some cruise ship cabins have these buttons where a light comes on outside of the cabin and that indicates to the cabin steward that you're ready to have your room made up. Now, if you do not do this, there's a good chance that your room will never be made up. The cabin attendant can be a little bit even confused. This did happen to us, well, more than once, but once recently where we forgot to press the makeup room button, we got back to our cabin several hours later. It was a long day in port, so I think it was eight o'clock at night, something like that. And we met our cabin attendant in the hall and he told us he really didn't know if he should make up the room or not, and that it was a little bit of a rule even that he shouldn't go in without seeing that sign or indication. Now, by the way, if you're planning a cruise and trying to keep organized, I do have the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that can help you to stay organized from the time that you book your cruise all the way through embarkation and even disembarkation. Now I'll leave all of the information about what is included in the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check it out. Tidy up any intimate items. So if there are items that you do not want your cabin attendant to see or touch, make sure that they are put away in drawers. Tidy up in general. So while housekeeping is there to vacuum the carpets and to clean out any of the garbage pails and to clean the bathroom, they're not there to fold up your clothing. And if your clothing is all over the floor in a pile or many piles, well, it's going to be really hard for them to clean. So it is a good idea. Take a few minutes to just hang up any of the clothing that is still good to wear, fold up any other clothing, maybe leave it either in the drawers or even on the love seat or something to put away later, but don't leave it all on the floor. Leave a note or a message for your cabin attendant. Now, if there is something that you want to point out to your cabin attendant, a request that you have, leave a note. I like to bring sticky notes. So I just might put this on the mirror or on the desk if I did want, let's say extra hangers or something like that. Other people bring a whiteboard, but this is a really good idea. And if you do want to say thank you for something, you can also write a little thank you note and put it on the mirror as well. Now, by the way, if you have a bigger issue that maintenance needs to get involved, don't leave a note. So if you do have like, for instance, a water leak in the bathroom, that is a phone call to maintenance or even a phone call to guest services. Empty any drinks that you might have in your cruise cabin. Now this one might sound a little bit funny, but if you leave a coffee cup that is full of coffee or a soda can that is half full of soda or even a water bottle that has a little bit of water in it, it is unlikely that your cabin steward is actually going to throw it out. So sometimes we've been a little bit surprised about that. We thought it was obvious that we're not drinking these items anymore and that they were garbage, but we did learn from cabin attendants that they've been told sometimes not to throw these out. Some guests like to still have them. So what we do is we actually empty out our coffee cups, any other drinks, sodas, etc., in the bathroom sink, and then we leave them in the garbage. Now I do have one bonus one at the end. It's a little bit of a hack, but before that, remember to bring your cruise card. Now you are going to need your cruise card a lot on the cruise. So you definitely want to make sure that you bring it and it's easy to get locked out if you don't. That has definitely happened to me more than once. Please let me know if you've been on a cruise before, if that has ever happened to you. All right, here is the bonus hack. If you do have a little card slot right next to your door and some of the newer cruise ships do have this, it basically is an energy saver. What you'll need to do is as you enter your cabin, you're gonna put your cruise card in there for the lights to work, 
the air conditioning, the electricity, etc. Now, if you want to keep all of that working while you are out of the cabin, and maybe this might be a little bit controversial, but sometimes we do like things while well, the AC in particular to keep working, then what you can do is bring an old hotel key card and put that in the little slot. Now, it might happen that your cabin attendant will take it out, but you can ask him not to, and oftentimes they will oblige. Now, if you're going on a cruise and you'd like more cruise cabin tips of how you can keep your cabin organized, I am going to leave a video right after this one with 30 cruise cabin essentials and hacks. And please let me know as well, what are the things that you do before you leave your cruise ship cabin down in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.